Green Heck. Building value in air. Welcome back to the shop. Today, we're gonna to go through the larger Very Green motors and how to set them up. Let's start off looking at our motor. What we have here is a totally enclosed, fan-cooled design motor enclosure. And like all Very Green motors, all EC motors, they have a drive in them, but bigger motor, much bigger drive. So you'll actually see the drive now. Now this drive is what we call a top mount because it's mounted on top of the motor. You may also find this in an axial mount where it's mounted to the back side of the motor. We pick the right configuration for the fan that you've chosen, but the drive itself all looks the same. Now this drive enclosure is going to be possibly outside and in a fan. This drive enclosure is an IP56 rated enclosure, so it is good and weather tight. Now to get access to this, to our setup, we do need to remove the four screws and take the cover off. You'll notice on the bottom side of the cover, there's a nice rubber gasket and that pushes into the slip, gives us that good rating for being outdoors. This motor design is available from one to 10 horsepower. You can get one and two horsepowers in single phase, you know, 115, 208, 230. You can get one to 10 horsepower in three phase. Uh, 230, 460. These are not dual voltage, so the drive is sized to your power and your horsepower. Now, if we're doing a setup on this motor, we want to go through and talk about the different terminals and what we have on the inside. The first thing we're going to show is right here, this gray 11 pin terminals. And we'll kind of talk about the terminals themselves in a moment. This is where we're going to hook up our speed reference um, and our enable command. Also right here, you have an RJ45 connector. This is to connect a version of a uh, remote keypad or a troubleshooting Bluetooth copy stick so we can actually get in and program and talk to the drive. Also right here, we have a relay. And from the factory, this relay is set to close whenever we're in a running condition. So I can actually send power through that relay to a, say a damper actuator. Now the damper will open whenever the motor is running and the damper will close whenever the motor is not running. Now from the factory, you'll find terminal one and two. I have a Wago connector um, connecting those two points. Terminal two is an enable command. Terminal one creates 24 volts. So whenever terminal two sees that 24 volts, it's enabled and I can now go whatever speed you're telling me to. You'll notice though that we give you a three uh, lever Wago connector. So we're leaving one open and that open one is that you can run a wire from here to your controls. And let's say your very green control needs 24 volts just to be powered. You can actually use that 24 volts right from here to do that. Now, like all other very green fans, we can choose right when we order it, how to give it our speed reference, right? And in this scenario right here, I've selected it with a dial. So the dial is on the side. You'll notice I have my wires hooked into terminals five, six, and seven. Seven is your common, the white. Uh, six is your zero to 10 volt input and five is your, in this scenario, a 10 volt output going through the potentiometer and coming back. So I'm telling it how fast to go. If in the field I decided I did not want to dial and I just wanted to go to a zero to 10, I can simply pull these wires out and plug in my two wires on terminals six and seven to do your zero to 10 volt speed reference. Now, if this is ordered in a fan for zero to 10 volt operation, this dial won't be here. But what we do from the factory is we actually put a jumper from terminal five to six. So terminal five creates 10 volts. Terminal six is looking for a zero to 10 volt input. So from the factory, we give you a motor that is enabled and then is set up to go full speed. So when you have your own zero to 10, your BMS is installed, simply remove that jumper and land your own wires. 
And the last part, while we're under the cover here, under the hood, is the power itself. So if you've ordered this with a disconnect, this may be done from the factory already, but you can see my power coming in and it lands right here. This is a single phase 115 volt setup, so there's only two terminals, L1, L2 neutral. If you were to order this motor in three phase, there would be three terminals that you can land your three legs on. So today we took a quick look at how to set up and install the larger nominal horsepower Veragreen motors, uh, how to send in our speed reference, whether it's a dial or zero to 10, this simple jumper right here that enables the motor. Also, we talked about where to land our power. So if there are any questions, please feel free to contact us at GreenHack, our customer service group, our email, or even check out our website and look at our full host of IOMs, installation, operation, and maintenance manuals. Let's get off the roof.